as a 3D artist, you are probably not very happy with how your 3D software allows you to work with UVs, whether it be Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, or Blender. But there are two solutions. First, you can use add-ons. So I left in the description of this video all the add-ons and scripts for your 3D software of choice. But today, I'm gonna show you guys five of the best and alone UV unwrapping software that you can use whatever your 3D software is. This software has been used by many studios like VFX, animation, and game development studios for so many years. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with Hadas UV Layout, one of the most popular standalone UV unwrapping software in the market today, with a rich history dating back to 2005. Interestingly enough, it was initially developed as an in-house tool to specifically address the UV editing challenges that Hedas, the company behind it, was facing in one of their projects, after they were assigned to capture and work on 250 body scans for Team Bondi's iconic open world LA Noir. UV Layout was then released as an independent product after the company realized there was a need in the market for this type of software, which was a great decision in my opinion. Hadis UV Layout, like many other software of this kind, are based on five fundamental aspects of UV mapping workflow. Edge loop detection to select the UV seams, a visual feedback to evaluate the distortion errors, also edge straightening features to fix the set distortions, and auto packing features of UV islands to minimize the wasted texture space, as well as manual editing features to adjust the general UVs. In the case of UV Layout, while it is not the most advanced out there, I still find it to excel in all the main areas of this niche software as a compact and easy to use tool that can be summarized in a series of main features that I particularly appreciate. For starters, it has the ability to separate the meshes into different pieces after making each seam, which I find to be a much more intuitive approach compared to the regular workflow as it also helps you to have a preview of how the UVs will look like. And to keep track of every marked seam, I would also add it has another impressive feature in the form of its automatic flattening capabilities and welding system, which automatically readjusts the system of the UVs to minimize any visible seams. This can help us ensure that the textures are displayed smoothly without any cuts between the texture islands. And let's not forget its color feedback mechanism which operates as follows. The blue color signifies properly flattened UVs, whereas the red color highlights areas with potentially stretched UVs, or maybe low distortion, density problems, and various other issues. This in addition to flattening brushes, coupled with a menu to fine-tune the automatic unpacking process and maximize the texture space utilization. This software is really good, with a solid foundation of features and multiple licensing options for both professionals and hobbyists. Hadas UV Layout is great, but Rising UV is not less impressive, because it is another giant in the realm of UV mapping software. So some of you guys may recognize its previous name, which was m 4 d However, due to a sequence of legal disputes, it underwent a rebranding process and emerged again as Ryzen UV, initially created back in 2003, and it stood as one of the earliest commercial software that was used for UV unwrapping, and one of the few that were capable of flattening complex geometry without stretching, pinch, or distortion. But did it survive the test of time? To be frank, the short answer is yes. But let's inspect this matter further. So, it is one of the most advanced UV tools in the market today, and its user interface is proof of that. Even though it may seem complex at first, it still offers an arsenal of tools that greatly enhance our UV editing workflow. Now, we can't cover all of them in this video, but as a summary, we have for instance, the manual edge selection features, which are expected to be found within this type of software, but also a distinctive magic wand tool for the automatic selection of UV islands, which is achieved by adjusting the maximum angles of the islands. This, in addition to a flattening algorithm, which is capable of flattening even 3D models surpassing a hundred thousand polygons into impeccably flat forms. Beyond these highlights, the software offers numerous other functionalities, such as a native packer designed to ensure that the UV islands are packed within a minimum waste of space and to ensure an efficient island orientation and scaling, 
in addition to many packing customization settings. For example, we have selecting a group of islands, then with the pack all feature, you can repack all of them with everything else being repacked around it. Ryzen UV also features a blue and red feedback mechanism, similar to what we have in Hadas UV layout, to keep track of all the distorted areas of the UVs. The software also offers multi-channel workflow capabilities, allowing you to create separate UV maps for various sections within a single 3D mesh, alongside automatic scene features and numerous alignment and correction tools for manual refining of the islands, in addition to many other stuff. However, Ryzen UV follows a subscription-based model, with multiple licensing options. The proof that this software is really good is the fact that it is used by some of the biggest companies in the 3D industry, such as Ubisoft, Capcom, and City Project Red, which can show how effective it is in the field. Moving on, we have a tool called Ultimate Unwrap 3D, a UV mapping tool that is available as a one-time payment with both a standard and a pro version that comes with extra features. So, despite its outdated interface, I think it still manages to have the majority of the capabilities that are often found and seen in 3D programs of this category, making it an overall decent tool for this task. The key, or let's say, secret behind it is that it provides many of the core features that we already highlighted in this video, such as an easy-to-use UV mapping editor, an edge selection system to mark the seams, a plethora of 2D editing tools that include moving the islands around, scaling and rotating them with the help of someone UV's tool for example, and a long list of many more features that can be found on the software's website. And while it is a predominantly UV editing tool, it still has some general 3D capabilities, such as a material editor, rendered viewport and a bone editor, making it yet another interesting addition to our list. Next, we have UV Mapper, a software that takes a similar path of Ultimate Unwrap 3D by sharing numerous characteristics. Just like its counterpart, UV Mapper is also available as a one time payment and it provides both a professional and a classic version with a user interface that might also appear outdated. Nonetheless, I still find it to do a better job compared to Ultimate Unwrap 3D since it looks much cleaner. Now, Despite of that, it still offers all the general functionalities that can be found in UV unwrapping tools. The workspace is divided into two sections. One serves as a 3D workspace where we can load our 3D models and work on them. And the other section is a 2D workspace where we could work on the 2D islands. So it is a very straightforward tool and offers most of the basic functionalities such as edge selection tools to mark the seams, welding and alignment options, and all the expected tools that we previously talked about. And while it is very simple and not as advanced such as Hadas UV Layout or Ryzen UV, it could still do a nice job and can be a good starting point for beginners. Last but not least, we have a software called Boundary First Flattening, a free and open source application for UV mapping created by two researchers at Carnegie Mellon University and they developed arguably one of the most unique UV mapping software in the industry today. Let me explain. So, the way UV mapping works in software such as Ryzen UV and Hadas UV Layout or Blender, Maya, Max and so on is that they restrict the level of which we can modify the unwrapped islands and we can't really adjust their shapes. So, the concept behind boundary first flattening is following a totally different approach that is, to the UV mapping workflow of mainstream programs. In fact, it takes the total opposite path, as it gives you complete authority and freedom over the form of the generated 2D islands, with the help of handles that could be moved around. For example, you can edit the shapes or portions of the edges. Another interesting aspect about this software is that it attempts to create UV maps with minimal distortions through the help of mathematical algorithms. I would also add, it includes a pin system that allows for further reduction of distortions with the ability to control all the angles of these pins to avoid seams or just the rotation. One thing I noticed, however, is that it lacks as detection and tools for creating seams, meaning that generating multiple UVs of the same 3D model may not be an easy feat to achieve. What's also important to highlight is the exceptional speed and efficiency of this program because it enables real-time editing of the 2D shapes, 
and it can also effortlessly manage 3D models that can contain millions of polygons. So while it may not be a traditional UV mapping tool as we know them, I think it offers a fresh approach to this type of programs which can be very interesting to experiment with. So guys, if you are interested in one of these tools, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.